Theorem 10.2 The length of tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are equal. Here what is given to you? Two tangents given to you as well as the external point of a circle also given to you. You have to show that the length of the tangents from an external points are equal. So first of all draw the circle with the two tangents from an external point. So what is the center of a circle? And PQ, PT are the two tangents from an external point to a circle. So write it here. What are the things given to you? Given. O is center of circle. PQ, PT are tangents from external point P. Okay, these are the two things given to you. What do you have to prove? I have to prove that the length of the tangents are equal. What are the tangents? PQ and PT. These length are equal I have to show. So, PQ which is equal to PT. So, third part that is what proof. Okay. How you are going to prove this statement? Okay, proof. Join OQ, OT and OP. So that I will get two triangles. First write that join OQ, OT and OP. So, by joining that point I will get two triangles. Now I am going to prove that these two triangles are congruent. After showing that congruency of these two triangles, I can tell that the remaining parts of the triangles are equal by CP, CP. So that I can prove PQ equal to PT. So how I am going to do? Let us see. Take the two triangles that is triangle O, Q, P and the another triangle O, T, P I have taken. Now you see what are the sides equal from these two triangles. OQ equal to OT because same radius. OQ equal to OT. Radii of same circle. You have to mention the point. Then angle Q equal to angle T equal to 90 degree. Why it is? Just now only we have seen in theorem 10.1. Radius and tangent is always perpendicular through the point of contact. We have seen. So that angle T equal to angle Q equal to 90 degree. So angle T equal to angle Q equal to 90 degree by 10.1 theorem. I am writing but you have to write the statement of 10.1 theorem here. Then go for OP is common in both the triangles. OP equal to OP common side of both the triangles. From these three statements, we can tell that these two triangles are congruent by RHS rule. Why? See, right angle, opposite side that is called hypotenuse and one more side. From that I can tell right angle that is R, H and S by RHS both the triangles are congruent. So write it here, OQP is congruent to the triangle OTP by the rule RHS. Once I have proved these two triangles are congruent, the remaining sides will be equal by CPCT I already told. So what are the remaining sides in these two triangles? Let us see, PQ equal to what? PT. PQ in this triangle OQP and PT the side in a triangle OTP. So these two sides are equal by CP, CT. So PQ equal to PT by CP, CT hence proved. That only you have to prove. Thank you.